What I'd like to discuss now is the actual cascading part of uh, CSS, cascading style sheets, and how that actually works. Now, if you consider um, what we, the code we have here, the cascading part of the cascading style sheets means that it gets processed by the browser from the top down. So essentially, if you ever when you're defining things, everything here is unique, right? We're kind of targeting unique elements. First we have the body, the paragraph, H1 and H2. But if we were to later on down down in the code, further down the cascade, um, define a new value for, for one of the elements we already defined, it's always the latest uh, the latest style definition that's going to actually be rendered in the browser. So let me just show you a very extreme example of that. So up top over here we define paragraph to be gray but later on what if we defined it to be blue? Um, and here I'll, I'll just redefine it a couple times to show you exactly what would happen. And let's do the last one green. So, once I save this, I've defined paragraph to be four different colors. First gray, blue, red, and green. And which color is going to apply? Well, because of the cascade, I could tell you that it's going to be green. And here is the document. Let me refresh it. And there you go. As you can see, the text is green. So that's the cascade part of cascading style sheets at play. Um, there is one way to override this, and that's with a important attribute or declaration you could put in there. So let me show you how that works. Uh, I'm looking at P color red, and, and if I add, well, actually right after red and before the semicolon, exclamation point important, what's going to happen here, I'm going to save it, is now you see what that tag did, the important makes it override any other declaration it has. So uh, you got to be careful with this uh, attribute over here because it's very powerful. And usually I use it when I, uh, you know, your code gets hairier, if you will. You know, it gets you get more and more stuff and, and it's hard to figure out, you know, what attributes are applying to what tag and sometimes you define something and, and the effect doesn't actually happen when in the rendered CSS so oftentimes when I'm working and trying to figure out what's going on I'll add the important declaration to make sure that I'm actually targeting the right thing because what could happen is um, if I use the important tag and it does take hold then I know that uh, somewhere in my CSS things are getting redefined so I'm kind of uh, uh, I need to look through the code if the important tag doesn't work then I know more than likely I'm not targeting the right thing now these are pretty simple examples that we have over here but as you move deeper and deeper it's really easy to have a very complex style sheet um, and if you go to any uh, major site you'll quickly see what I'm talking about uh, for example here's Amazon and if we go to view their CSS I mean here's ours nice and simple but you could see how uh, like a big site how it has all this stuff so it's easy you can easily get lost in your own code and using that uh, exclamation point important is a really good tool to help you uh, determine what's going on.